Like the slowest skater ever. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Oh, I got that in slow mo. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Disobeyus. Back with another Sunrise Next Ride video. Got something really special for you guys today. I got my boy Samil, Fox 40, Bay Area Surround crew with me, guest starring my boy Mac from the Dark Legions crew, another ride crew out here in the Bay Area, riding his Surround with us. We're going to take you from uh, San Leandro. All the way to Treasure Island and back. We got another super long extended range test ride. Hope you guys enjoy it. I think I'm scaring Mac. He's a scooter guy, rides the 010X, does some awesome stuff on that scooter. You guys should check out his YouTube videos. Dark Legion Bay Rides put some of his stuff up there but yeah he's a scooter guy so I think he's a little a little more used to that and me and uh, Samil kind of ride bikes or at least that's how I met him passing the Oakland Airport right now it leads me to my question of the day for all my loyal disobeyers viewers you guys know I do a question and so my question of the day are you guys traveling yet you guys having on planes going anywhere and if you are how was it? Were you comfortable? Was it like, it was kind of crazy? First time you went back? And if you haven't, how long before you think you will be comfortable? Go ahead and drop a comment down below. You know how we get down, we like participation. Let me know. Are you guys traveling yet? I actually have a, uh, You know, not to not to humble brag here or nothing, but I have a trip to Hawaii planned for middle late July, right around the birthday, and uh, I am I'm pretty anxious to get on the plane and get out of the Bay Area. Uh, I've been to a couple of like you know spots close by, places that I was comfortable at, but I haven't really done any traveling in a year plus, so. Uh, it's gonna feel good to be able to see something new, wake up somewhere uh, I haven't been before. But that's not until July, so I have a little bit of time. I'm also fully vaccinated, so I mean that helps out a lot, at least for me, my uh, outlook on it. I feel a lot better. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Got a couple dope things planned. Hollering at the Super 73 squad in Hawaii. Those boys are dope. If you haven't checked them out, you should definitely look at their work on YouTube. But well, we got in contact with them, hoping to set up a ride with them, borrow a couple of their bikes, and get out there and ride with them. That'll be dope. We'll see if that works out. And then obviously, you know, all the tourist stuff that one would do when they go to Hawaii. Looks like Max having some issues with his arm there. Some off-roading, you know me.
So I'm rocking the Mac Pack. My boy Mac here has a Mac Pack. And Samil got the side battery. Only Mac bought a charger. And hopefully nobody needs to use it. It's about 20 some odd miles to Treasure Island from where we started. So that puts us at a 40 some odd mile adventure. I think we've done it before, we'll see. Still haven't uh, gotten the willies down yet. Trying. I can definitely lift the front end up. But uh, as far as like moving or doing any kind of extended ones, not there yet. We don't get there though. I already got my brake sensors disconnected. So it's just about getting the uh, throttle and brakes down, I think, really. This thing is so torquey though, man. The front end wants to lift up quick on you. And I'm rocking a stock controller, so you really can only, you know, do it when you're 10 miles an hour. Although I've seen Saranstra's videos, I watch him on YouTube. It looks like he pops his up, so he can uh, he can lift his front wheel up a little higher up in the in the range there. But he also has the 4,000 now and a bigger battery, so I'm sure it's a lot easier with that. I guess they put this pole here so you don't like come through here speeding. I wonder if that's anybody up ever. I uh, just like ran into it. Woo, you hit that a little too tough. You gonna be coming out here sliding. Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. You know those ain't supposed to be here, right? That's what I like to see, man. Kids out here on their bikes. I know when I was younger, couldn't wait to get a bike. And when I finally did, that was my initial taste of freedom. Now these kids live their world virtually in a video game. They spend 80 to 90% of their free time virtually besides what that does to someone physically because obviously you know we're in, I live in America so we have an obesity issue like most countries don't but uh, yeah besides what it does to you physically just the not going out not actually you know, hanging out with people, not knowing how to interact with people um, face to face. I think that uh, really affects people. Oh. This front end is heavy now with the knack pack. Can't get it up. <gasps> That's what she said. <laughs> there we go. I was thinking about doing a willy there. Decided against it. He looked really interested in what was inside of there. A 
Where we at High Street. And we in the east now. In the east, riding the smoke. In my scrape of making papers. There's no place like Oakland. Just I'd love to have a boat. But then to, then to also have a boat house, that'd be hella dope. Just walk out your backyard, onto the dock, hop on the boat and be out. My man Mac is rocking the copyrighted music. Must not know you can't put your videos on YouTube and get paid doing that. I'm gonna have to steer clear of him. So we're making real good time. I think we'll be in Treasure Island in 10 minutes. And I'll have to cut most of these videos. I have, most of my rides are, I don't know, two hour, two and a half hour plus. And most of the time I try to get it down to, you know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Sometimes they go to like 30. But I have to cut a lot of stuff out. So I don't know if like the, the length of time or the, the distance that we're traveling is coming across in my videos, but anybody from the Bay Area should definitely know what kind of miles we're putting on these bikes doing these rides like this. Having a little fun. He's still smoking right now. He's a G. <laughs> I'm gonna get from behind him. No, I don't want to smell that. Damn, I feel like we're on the freeway right now. Oh, oh. Bumpy. Yeah, I definitely haven't been this way. Don't worry guys, this is the bike lane. It should be alright. <laughs> oh, these people. Yeah, it's not my fault. You guys gotta walk, bro. I don't know if you guys can see SF in the distance or not. I know everybody was super juiced when they did this. They built this side of the bridge. And they included the uh, pedestrian walkway slash bike path to Treasure Island. Uh, there was no way to do that before, so when they first opened this up, there was a bunch of people that wanted to uh, make this trip. funny thing is I'm kind of glancing over to my right I don't know if you guys can see it but we're almost moving as fast as traffic is right now and I said we he can't be doing no more than 20 
Well, that's interesting. Almost there now. It wasn't that bad. He said this was five miles. This is no way this is five miles. So I don't know if the uh, builders of the bridge were, were doing the same thing as the bridge in Australia. I think it's in Australia with this design here. But there was a lot of fanfare about that when that happened too. Woo wee. Yeah, this short's on. He ain't tripping. All right, the guys are speeding up a little bit here. I don't know if I should set up. I sound like a little wimp right now. I'm just trying to talk myself through it. You know, that's really important, guys. Being comfortable in life, taking it easy. You never get any satisfaction living your life that way. So, please, get out of your comfort zone. Do things that you didn't think you could do or want to do or you got to push yourself man because if you don't you might be alive but what's the saying you ain't living we only have a little bit of, of an opportunity to enjoy this planet that we're living on with our time here so I mean do the do the most you can be the best you can and with that we're on the other side man that was that was kind of cool hoping to bring my drone out today it's hella windy over here though I don't know if I'm gonna be able to bring it out Yeah, that's fine. What's up, YouTube? We back. Had a beverage. Some good food. And now we're on our way back to the East Bay. And luckily, the wind is going the other way, so it's at my back now. So we don't have that much wind. Maybe it's the liquid courage. Maybe it's the no wind. Maybe it's just that I was already on this bridge and I, I just did it. I'm feeling good. No issues. I wonder if there's a time on this bridge, like if they close it, if you're not allowed to walk over at a certain time. We just saw a beautiful little uh, 
cliff overlooking the Bay Bridge with traffic into the city in the background. It'd be nice to be able to ride over here in the, at nighttime and come take a picture of that. So I might have to figure that out. Hella containers everywhere. So a little fun fact about Oakland. It's the second largest port on the west coast. And right now, they are severely backed up with their ability to get these big uh, container trucks or Got <laughs> container trucks these big container ships offloaded so there's usually something like 10 ships just docked in the bay waiting to be offloaded and then there's anything from I don't know four to six ships that are docked at one time being offloaded and I'm sure you guys can't see because of the uh, the video settings that I'm using. But there are a gang of containers just sitting on the land over there. Already offloaded but not moving. Oh, this is smoking another cigarette? Come on, bro. Close my visor. Cigarettes kill. Try to come off that curb right there. Still pretty hard to get the front end off the ground with this snack pack on there. It only weighs about 10 pounds, but I feel like it's really weighing down the front end. Nah, he, he ain't ready for that life yet. <laughs> oh, apparently not. Yeah, nah, he ain't ready for that. <laughs> oh, no. That's how rough riders roll. Rest in peace DMX, one of my favorite 
90s rappers. One of the ones that I thought kept it the most real after Pac. A lot of people wanted to be like Pac. X seemed like he just wanted to be X. We got the East Bay Park Rangers right there. Hopefully they were in their car and not over here somewhere so they can tell us to get off our bikes. Because if they was in their car, they ain't catching us. See, Mac rides a little like me. A little, a little reckless and, you know, just want to have fun with the bike. I wouldn't call it necessarily reckless. I would call it, um, I don't know, measured fun. What? I'm sure he don't want to hurt himself. And I'm definitely not trying to hurt myself. But riding my bike in a straight line is not fun. So I try to find other ways to enjoy myself. Yeah, I really need to get that uh, OHV sticker. I am missing trails like crazy. All of these people on trails like this. Just let you know that we're probably not supposed to be here. And all of the East Bay trails, at least in the Bay Area, are not e-bike friendly, so... Not really supposed to be there either. But that's where I have the most fun, so I need to... Figure out how to get some more trailing in, because... I miss the jumps and the dirt and the... Turns and the elevation gains and all that just makes riding this bike that much more fun and it's already pretty much you know the funnest bike you can get right now so doing some trailing on it it makes it that much more fun you can only imagine how much fun you actually can have on this thing I don't know why he's saying hi to all these people. Oh, there's another ranger. Yeah, I don't know why he's saying hi to all these people. They, don't, they, ain't, they ain't messing with him. They hear our bikes and... Ooh, what is that? Are you sure you're supposed to be on this bike here? Oh, 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 oh. I want to see somebody hit a willy. I need a willy in my life. Oh, his dogs were in the water. That's cute. That was cute. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That little dog had a death wish. We're more than halfway back now. It's a nice little ride. Cap off a great weekend. Can't be mad at it, that's for sure.
road over the Bay Bridge today. Like I said earlier, that's something that I don't normally do. Not a big fan of heights. But uh, today was one of those conquer your fear days, so glad I did it. Glad I got that out of the way. And now to the next adventure. Didn't really go too fast, uh, especially when we first got on the bikes, because that's, you know, obviously when the battery is at its fullest, you're going to get your top speed then. Didn't do a top speed run today, but I'll go ahead and give you guys the stats at the end of this video. As far as how many miles we did, our average speed, the top speed that we hit. Should have uh, did a top speed run earlier in the day, but we did not do that, so. Loud ass scooters. It's just the back still. Can't lift that front tire up. There we go. There we go. Well, YouTube, that's it. It's going to be the vlog for the day. I appreciate you guys, especially if you stayed all the way until the end of the video. If you did, thank you. As always, if you found any value in my content, please like, comment, subscribe. Helps me out a lot. Keeps me on a mission of making uh, good content for you guys, so participate. That's what the word of the day is. Participate. Appreciate you guys, YouTube. Until next time, man. Please hang up and try again.